Good morning, my dear friends. Today's class, we are going to discuss about something called lack of love. Of course, that's not the title of this lesson unit 21. But still, we should start with the word love. Once people lose their love or lack of love to you itself or to your parents or to your family or to the society, so many social evils can happen to you. That is what we are going to discuss in this first part of this video. The lack of love towards you will trigger you to destroy yourself by making yourself an addict to alcoholism or smoking or drag or all these things will bring a big imbalance in the society. Let's go for one more impact of lack of love is the abuse. Abuse in the sense it is not always meant that sexual abuse alone is considered. Verbal abuse because you don't love that person. Physical abuse, beating and harsh punishments. You don't like the society so that you want to destroy it by means of any methods. This is all happens because you don't have the love. And this one thing that is you makes that you to abuse someone else or to abuse yourself by means of damaging your health, by means of smoking, drinking and by usage of drugs. Of course, age of adolescence, it is the time of experiments, excitements, curiosity. For that purpose, you start something which may end up in a huge tragedy for you and for the family, also at the society and our great nation India. And those of you who don't have the love for themselves or the society and falls under these categories, self-destruction, also abuse, social destruction. Shall we all leave the message? Or shall we punish them alone? No. There are some certain laws in our country to protect others from all the types of abuse. Especially the children. And coming to the next one, shall we kick them out? No. We, we have to help them to come back to the light. So what are all the measures our government takes for the prevention and taking back these people back to life? For what are the measures the government takes? These are the things we are going to discuss in this lesson, this first video. And the next thing we are discussing is the impact of Western culture to us. Also, the unhealthy lifestyle that we adopt, like less exercise, lot of junk food, smoking, alcoholism. Also, in this lesson, we will discuss something that is our lifestyle diseases. What is the meaning of di lifestyle disease? That means due to our changed lifestyle, we are affected with diseases. What are the change that we adopted? Mostly from the Western culture, that is excessive intake of junk food, which was not at all in practice uh, 50 years ago. High calorie food, lack of physical exercise, smoking, alcoholism and usage of drugs. These are all lifestyle changes brought as so many diseases that all made us diabetic, heart patients and all other type of diseases. If you look at the complete result of this lack of love and adopting some bad lifestyle habits will bring you illness and early death. That is a result of all these things. So in this lesson unit 21 health and disease we are going to discuss about abuse alcoholism, smoking and drugs and in the next video part 2 we will discuss about lifestyle disease. Okay, the first word we are going to discuss is the abuse. Abuse is nothing but a cruel or a harmful, a violent behavior or a treatment towards another human being. Abuse the word means a torturing another living organism or a human being by means of mentally 
physically, psychologically, emotionally, verbally or child or sexual abuse. These all come under the category abuse. The cruel phase of abuse is when we look at the child abuse. Why the children is targeted? Because they are treated as a soft targets. They don't even respond much. Also, they don't know that they are getting abused. So that is the cruel and the saddest part of abuse. In this lesson, Unit 21, Health and Disease, we are going to discuss about various types of abuse and lifestyle disease. The first one, the meaning of the word abuse is cruel, violent, harmful or injurious treatment towards another human being or a living organism is called abuse. This abuse can be of physical ma manner, emotional or psychological, verbal, sexual and child abuse. Coming to the child abuse, it can be physical, that means you are physically abusing a child to go for child labor or excessive work, something like that or emotionally you are exploiting. Uh, the child and all these things will come under child abuse. Also an important and uh, cruel one. abuse in the case of children is sexual abuse against the children. So our government has a law called FOXO Act passed in the 2012 prevention of children from sexual offenses. And if you look at why the children is targeted is they are soft targets, their resistance is very less and they may not even realize that they are getting abused. That is why children are mostly targeted for sexual abuse. And coming to the symptoms of a sexually abused children, we can notice them that they may have genital injuries, abdominal pain, frequent urinary tract infections and behavior changes. So, this actually makes a suspicious that we can identify whether it, the child may be a victim of any type of abuse. Coming to the next one, how can we protect a child from the child abuse? That means, child helpline number throughout our nation, it is 1098 and giving counseling for the family members and the child and seeking the family support for the child that will improve the victim to come back to normal life and sometimes medical and legal care rehabilitation support also has to be done to bring back this child to the normal life and prevention of child abuse also sexual abuse or again as the children you can mostly avoid the strangers getting help and going alone with a stranger, all these things can be avoided. Also the parents has to teach them with something called bad touch. Touch is for taking care, but you should also teach them something called bad touch. Also by avoiding the strangers that they offer gifts, all these things you can take a preventive measure for against the child abuse. Prevention of child sexual abuse. There are certain measures you can always take to prevent something called a child sex abuse is happening. Something like never accept a gift or a toys or a chocolate something from strangers. Whenever you take traveling for a long distance, especially alone, you need never encourage the strangers to come in contact with you. And from the childhood itself, the parents should teach the children about something called bad touch. A touch is a symbol of care and sim something like that, love or something. But you should teach the children about something called bad touch and good touch and never be alone with a strange person. So this type of silly precautionary measures you can take to prevent child abuse. There is also another practice of using some self-defensive mechanisms, also you can depend on something like a pepper spray and above all, it is not the res personal responsibility alone. It is the responsibility of society, each one of us 
and the society has the responsibility to stop the child sexual abuse or any other means of abuse to the children, we should raise our voice against that. Never hesitate, never be afraid of it. That is the responsibility you, me and everybody in this society is having. The next one we are going to discuss is drug, alcohol and tobacco abuse. The first one is drug abuse. In that, drug will change the physical and mental dependency to drug. That means, our body as well as the mind will always seeking or uh, the presence of the drugs inside our body. Coming to the drug, actually it is a chemical that actually modifies the physical, biological, psychological or social behavior by stimulating or depressing or by disturbing the body and mind. So, a chemical that can alter or disturb any type of biological function leads to destruction of the personal behavior. Such type of chemicals are called drugs. If you look at the drug and its types, they are addictives because that controls central nervous system that will directly impact on the nervous system and psychotropic drugs or mood altering drugs that can change the emotional feelings and behavior and coordination of the human being. The next one is drug dependence. They are, we will depend on the drug both physically and mentally, psychologically. That means, physical need is for being normal. Without drugs, that people cannot be act normal. But with drugs, they are will act normal. That is the physical dependence to the drugs. If you look at the psychological dependence, to the drugs is, they will feel that only if they are taking the drugs, they will, they can reduce the stress and they can be normal. That is a mentally, they will be addicted and physically also they will be addicted. And looking at the behavioral changes, with these changes we can identify that they may be under a drug abuse and they are symptoms like drop in academics, if this is a student a lack of personal hygiene, they do not mind in the personal hygiene, they will always look for an easy money making methods and they will have very bad relationship with the family and the peer groups and sleeping and food habit will change, body weight and appetite also will change and they will be most prone to infections such as HIV and hepatitis B. So, these are the general symptoms or behavior changes of a uh, drug abuse. And how can we go for de-addiction? That means, recover the person from the drug abuse. That means, the first step, step is um, seeking a medical help. In there, we will go for detoxification. That means, reducing the quantity of drugs so that slowly the person can recover from the impact of drugs. The next one is psychotherapy. That means, giving counseling and guidance to the persons, to the family members, all of them to accept them and bring them back to life. And the last one is rehabilitation. That means, you have to provide help, social help, so that this entire victim and their family can come out of, they can live normally and they can come back to the normal life. That is called, that is all about the drug abuse. The next abuse we are going to discuss is the tobacco abuse, smoking. We always hear the word before every movie starts, smoking is the injurious to health, smoking kills like that. Actually, this tobacco is obtained from a plant, Nicotina tobacco. And the leaves obtained from this particular plant, they will dry it, powder it uh, to sniff or make it into small pieces and pack it to smoke different and some other method to chew it. So, these are the methods to consume this. Actually, there is a content called nicotine inside this particular plant leaves that is actually an addictive. That nicotine actually make the people addicted to the smoking. This nicotine is a highly uh, toxic substance to the human beings. If you look at the fact that what makes 
the smoking dangerous. The benzopyrenes and polycyclic hydrocarbons present in the tobacco leaves which is actually very dangerous that can even cause cancer. This continuous smoking can cause inflammation of bronchi, a part of the respiratory tract. And the next thing if you look at the bad effects of smoking is the smoke that contains carbon monoxide which can make a permanent binding with the hemoglobin which is present in the on the RBC. You know RBC red blood cells are the cells that they carry oxygen to the cells and give the oxygen take back the carbon dioxide come back to the lungs. But when they bind with carbon monoxide that is a permanent one that means that hemoglobin will be lost permanently. It cannot furthermore attach with the oxygen or carbon dioxide. So, such a way inhalation of too much quantity of carbon monoxide will lead to destruction of RBCs which is very lethal because your entire body requires oxygen. This smoking also leads to an elevation an increase in the blood pressure which will be later stages it will be changed into a heart attack. So, blood pressure will be increased due to smoking that is a bad impact of smoking. This smoking also causes increased secretion of gastric juice the digestive juice what we have inside our digestive system. What will happen if there is excess secretion of digestive juice that will cause digestive tract ulcers which may in later stages can develop into even cancer. So, the formation of ulcers is due to smoking. Tobacco leaves if we are chewing it continuously that will also leads to oral cancer. So, that is the case these are the ok. So, these are what we have discussed is the bad impacts of smoking. Drinking of alcohol will change the physiological psychological behavioral changes in a human being destroy our nervous system. That means, continuous intake of alcohol will act as a sedative for our brain. So, we will miss our coordination in events of talking or thinking or acting all these things we need the help of nervous system and that nervous system will be affected if we continue. The next impact is whatever alcohol comes inside our body the effect has to be neutralized with the help of liver the chemical factory inside our body. But continuous excessive work of the liver will make the fibrous tissue formation inside we call it as a liver cirrhosis. So, that will damage our liver that is a very big side effect of prolonged usage of alcohol. And also this prolonged usage of alcohol will leads to lack of coordination continuous illness and leads to early death. So, these are all the bad effects of alcoholism. The next thing we are going to discuss is tobacco abuse smoking, chewing and sniffing. In these three methods the tobacco is consumed. So, tobacco is, is the leaf of nicotiana tobacco. This plant leaf has a chemical compound called nicotine it is an alkaloid also the stimulant present in the particular plant that actually gives the stimulation to go for smoking, chewing or sniffing of this tobacco products. Coming to the next one what are the impacts of the smoking is the nicotine itself can is carcinogenic that it can lead to cancer and chemical compounds present inside this plant leaves like benzopyrene polycyclic hydrocarbons can also leads to cancer. Inflammation in the throat and bronchus leads to bronchitis and pulmonary tuberculosis and inflammation to the alveoli that is the small small bag like structure inside the lungs there exactly the oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange happens. That condition called enlargement inflammation in the alveoli will lead to a condition called emphysema that means oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange will be reduced or blocked. Coming to the next one the smoke that contains carbon monoxide that can permanently bind with the RBC. Normal condition carbon dioxide can 
temporarily bind with the RBC and can go and exchange with the oxygen. Whereas, carbon monoxide makes a permanent bind with the hemoglobin which is present on the surface of RBC. So, that means the loss of that particular RBC will happen and smoking can also cause increased blood pressure that will lead to other cardiovascular diseases even heart attack. An increased gastric secretion will happen, that means gastric juices will secrete in excess that will lead to ulcer in your digestive tract. Coming to the next one, chewing this tobacco can cause oral cancer also, cancer in the mouth. And prevention of this smoking can be done with the help of counseling and seeking medical assistance. The next one is alcohol abuse. Alcoholism is the complete dependency on alcohol and the effects of alcoholism, it will depress the nervous system because this alcohol acts as a sedative and an analgesic and nervous systems and tissues will get damaged. Also, it will make the lack of coordination between the daily routine activities and reduced vision dilation of blood vessels that may lead to cardiovascular disease and liver damage, a fatty liver disease, a liver cirrhosis due to excess alcohol consumption to reduce the effects, the chemical factory of our body that the liver will keep on working that will lead to generation of fibrous type of tissues that will damage the liver. Prolonged illness and early death, so that is the effects of alcoholism. Coming to the next one, rehabilitation measures, educate the people regarding this. Giving counseling and awareness programs, physical activities like yoga and physical exercise can reduce the impact of alcoholism and help from the family and friends or the peer group members, they can interact and reduce the effects of alcoholism and they can come out of it and medical assistance if it is required, definitely we have to go for some medical assistance to come recover from the alcoholism. And the addictions programs also and rehabilitation programs also should be conducted in such a way that we can come out of this social evil that affects too many people. So far in this lesson, we have discussed about abuse that is towards children, smoking, alcoholism and drug abuse. That is the end of this video and the next video we will discuss about the lifestyle diseases, the diseases which caused due to the change in our lifestyle. Till that, stay at home, safe and eat well so that it will develop your immunity well. And focus in getting more vitamin D, you know that it is a sunshine vitamin, you have to expose yourself or at least 20 minutes a day to the sun that will make your body itself will make enough vitamin D. Also, do not forget to take vitamin C rich food items. With that, let me conclude this class and we will see you in the next one.